All new CBS2 investigators getting results before we even go on the air. Our Dorothy Tucker discovered a big mistake with the city's speeding ticket system, leaving drivers on the hook. But now it's the city saying it will pay up. When you see the speed camera flash, you know you've been caught. Right here, that's my car. The proof is captured in pictures and video. So you are guilty. I'm, you would look at this and say that I'm guilty because it's on camera. I'm not denying that I may have been speeding. Very frustrating. But Angelisa Winding still wants to challenge this ticket because of something CBS2 discovered. I'm very angry about it. Angry? It's, it's very it's stressful. Because of a mistake that could mean she and thousands of others like her do not deserve speeding tickets. Here's what happened. I was working on an investigation about the city's decision to start ticketing drivers for going just six miles over the speed limit. One of the first things we did was look at all the video. We scrolled through and noticed a quick shot of a sign warning drivers about a speed camera ahead. Something caught our eye, so we checked it again. Stop. Blow it up. Now take a closer look. You may not notice, but there's something wrong with it. The hours. Speed limit enforced between 6 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. The sign's wrong. It's supposed to be 9.30 p.m. This wrong sign is on Cicero pointing to a camera around the corner on Lawrence Avenue. At 11.08 a.m. At 6.04 p.m. on Lawrence Avenue. That's where this driver, who didn't want to be identified. Another 35 there. Racked up four $35 tickets between late March and early May. The sign clearly says it's enforceable between 6 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. So all these tickets were issued after 6 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Well, obviously it's wrong. Attorney J.C. Zona, best known for filing a class action lawsuit challenging Chicago's red light cameras. They're being notified incorrectly of the time these cameras are being enforced. Are there other wrong signs out there? We went looking, crisscrossing Chicago, eyeballing nearly 300 speed camera signs. We found one more. Rewind to the top of this story. I'm very angry about it. Remember Angelisa Winding? Was it a typo? In the ticket she wanted to challenge? Did they mess up? Because of this misprinted speed camera warning sign on Jeffrey? I shouldn't have gotten a ticket. April 20th at 5.09 p.m. I would have been coming from work that way and turning here. She turned from Jeffrey onto 75th Street. The camera flashed, catching Winding going 36 in a 30. She got slapped with a $35 fine. So my question is, why am I getting a ticket if it says 6 a.m. to 9 a.m.? Quick answer, because the sign is wrong. How could that happen? That's a question we took to the Chicago Department of Transportation, which oversees the speed camera program. They hired the vendor that inspects signs. Signs like these were last checked in May. CDOT says the vendor missed the time mistake. And the agency has addressed this oversight with the vendor. Sounds like CDOT forgave the vendor. No such mercy for drivers. That's 35 there. $35. They're still expected to pay the fines. Taking a look at just March 1st through March 27th at the Lawrence camera, nearly 10,000 tickets were issued and drivers fined nearly a quarter million dollars. I want the money back. Our unidentified driver owes the city 140 bucks. And on 75th, more than 1,700 drivers were caught on camera and fined about $53,000. Something is wrong. Winding got one $35 ticket after passing the wrong sign on Jeffrey. Something is clearly wrong. A wrong CDOT has now fixed, but only because the CBS2 investigators alerted them to the mistake. Well, I would hope that the city does the right thing and refunds those tickets because they weren't rightfully issued. Uh, that would be the right thing to do. So that's the question we took to the Department of Finance in the mayor's office. Why not refund the money of those who've already paid the tickets and dismiss the tickets of those who haven't? It took several days to get a response, but within the last few hours, finally, a victory for drivers. The city promises to do the right thing. Review the tickets and issue refunds. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators.
The CBS2 investigators just learned the wrong sign on Cicero was put up in July 2020. The misprinted sign on Jeffrey has been there since December. Dorothy's been relentless in exposing the red light and speeding ticket problems. See her past reporting by going to the CBS2 investigators section of the CBS Chicago app.